My name is Charlene Liu, and thank you for joining us tonight. Um, I'm going to begin with a land acknowledgement. The University of Oregon is located on Kalapuya Ilihi, the traditional indigenous homeland of the Kalapuya people. Following treaties from 1851 and 1855, Kalapuya, Kalapuya people were dispossessed of indigenous homeland by United States government and forcibly removed to a coast reservation in western Oregon. Today, Kalapuya descendants are primarily citizens of the Confederated Tribes of Grand Ronde and the Confederated Tribes of Siletz Indians, and they continue to make important contributions to the communities, to the UO, to Oregon, and to the world. And following the indigenous protocol of acknowledging the original people of the land we occupy, we also extend our respect to the nine federally recognized indigenous nations of Oregon and to the many more tribes who have ancestral connections to this territory, as well as to all other displaced indigenous people who call Oregon home. The Visiting Artist Lecture Series is presented by the Department of Art and the Center for Art Research. Today's lecture is made possible by the Gilkey Foundation Fund. And please note that following the lecture, we will have time for a Q&A with Yuji. It is such a pleasure for me to introduce Yuji Haratsuka as a visiting artist this spring term. Several years ago, we had an honoring of vis uh, honor of visiting Yuji at his studio in Corvallis with our printmaking students, where he kindly shared his creative processes and answered our many questions. His work made an impression with its colorful, humorous, and whimsical imagery. And for those who know the process of intaglio, uh, printmaking students in here, it's a beautiful yet technically complex medium, and Professor Yuji's craft and expertise is truly impressive. Yuji Hiratsuka was born in Osaka, Japan, and received a bachelor's degree in art education from Tokyo Teachers University. He moved to the United States in 18, 1985 to pursue graduate degrees at New Mexico State University in Indiana. He has taught printmaking, book arts, and drawing at Oregon State University for the past three decades. His prints are in public collections, including, to name a few, the, it's a long list, the British Museum in London, Portland Art Museum in Oregon, the Smithsonian Museum of Asian Art in Washington, D.C., and the Museum of Fine Arts in Boston. Please join me in welcoming Yuji today. Thank you. Well, uh, first, I'd like to say thank you to the uh, Shaolin, uh, Mika, and uh, Wendy, uh, who invited or facilitated my visit. And then Shaolin just mentioned, you know, uh, I'm not from far, far away. It's just next town, so you know I had a wonderful drive. Hot, uh, 70 sun today. You know, sunny. Uh, but anyway, so Kovaris, I'm from, and then uh, well, living there. Uh, this is what I do. Just a couple minutes introduction. So the, I came to OSU or the uh, uh, Oregon '92, and then I retired last year. So 30 years I taught there. Wonderful experience. And then, uh, so far, my body is kind of like still kind of aching, but you know, still I, I can do the things, you know. So that was the idea. Is I have my own studio, so that's my life. As long as I can move, you know, I can move the things. So you know, like you know, physically, you know, I keep. I like to keep, you know, like my printmaking project there at uh, home. So that's the reason. And then, you know, three months after the, uh, my retirement, at the. Uh, uh, in person kind of activities coming back like this. So I already did a couple of those, you know, like workshop kind of stuff at more coming. Uh, last two years, you know, uh, I did in summertime, you know, when I was not teaching at the U, uh, OSU. So those are all acts. So, the, you know, so that's very balanced out. You know, they are, you know, do lots of things, uh, my own stuff at home. And then time to time, I just go out and give the talk or lecture or to do the workshop. So kind of ideal things. I hope this, I can keep, you know, do it, you know, like till my body says it better stop, you know. Anyway, so that's me. Uh, I have about 197 slides or so. Uh, anyway, it's somewhat like, a, you know, like I go back and forth, not chronologically or, the, you know, like, the, uh, you know, year by year. So anyway, and then you feel free to interrupt any, if you have any questions, okay. So, that's my art book, and then this one was done like uh, like when you are uh, well, when I was like your age, uh, soon after the college, I was in Japan. So you know, uh, forty some years ago, you know, I made this, and they're still doing same thing, you know, very similar, you know, not much different. So I'm not, you know, they are improving, like, you know, evolving. Yeah, in a sense, going like this. 
you know, doesn't go like that. Sometimes coming back, that's the artist. I, you know, I can deflect, you know, when I see myself, you know. So that's uh, my artwork. I was in the Osaka or the Tokyo, I forgot, you know, like about, anyway, I did it, you know, the, uh, I bought a press, you know, uh, after college. Anyway, so that's color etching, four color, uh, basically CMYK, you know, it's manually CMYK, though. It's my yellow, my red, my blue, and then kind of black is kind of black. So that's how I do it, kind of things. So I've been doing that, still same things, printing the wash paper, uh, Japanese, or well, Asian very thin marbelli paper, and still I'm doing that, you know, so anyway, so next. This one is the uh, early uh, 90s uh, or the late 70s, you know, I was in the States, you know, they uh, moved to, uh, you know, USA, America. Anyway, uh, the same, uh, red, you know, green is a uh, yellow and then blue kind of ideas, you know. Uh, the Face has a little, you know, the uh, shade. That the, the uh, chicken fence. I ink the uh, chicken fence. Do you know that kind of like a wire kind of stuff, you know? And I just think I printed, you know, kind of stuff. So, pretty making. You can do a lot of fun stuff, you know, and the editions. Yes. I had a uh, other pair, you know, like this is the male portion, but you know, like female portion, female portion, but I couldn't find it. So photograph not available. But anyway, I like a figure, as you see it. You know, I like the lot of like a. Uh, this one is again, you know, like at the early 90s, you know, they are embellishing the thing, thing or the other figure. Uh, so, you know, guy with the uh, tie or, you know, background of some plant, you know, cups kind of sticks, you know, like a glass, you know. Uh, that's always my theme or the, my favorite things. I just wanted to show this one is me, you know, the uh, three of me, you know, and then that's a, uh, 90s, two or something, and then, of course, I have much more wrinkles, all kinds of things, you know, but i still wearing this one, not, but, you know, polo shirts and the half, you know, short sleeves, and then, you know, uh, so that was, you know, 30s, you know, I'm, uh, you know, 60s, but uh, I guess same, I lost my hair, not much, you know, but, you know, and then at that point, you know, they, they didn't have any, uh, Kappa, such a thing, you know, but has a glass, glasses, you know. A uh, little bit, you know, they are, you know, I don't want to ponder too, too long because I have a lot of slides, uh, you know, stuck, you know. Printmakers, like me, or the, some of you, you know, once you have uh, your own business, not belong to school, or even school, you know, they are uh, enticing you or both, same, you know, MFA graduate program, you know, like uh, this is what we do, kind of stuff. But, one topic is, you know, me as a, my home studio, when you see the printmaker, we talk. Hey, so you have one studio. How big your press? You know, that conversation is always, you know, uh, can't ignore, you know, how big you can print, and what the Takachi, you know, uh, you know, French too, all kinds of things, you know, is that company, is a, you know, uh, press machine, you know, company. But anyway, so the, uh, that's also, you know, like a, you know, determines, you know, how you can do, you know, like what you can do kind of things, you know. Anyway, what I wanted to say is I like to work with a big size matters for me. Uh, so there are some etchings, you know, like I'm not saying the small is not good, you know, they have a lot of gem, tiny prints like that. But my print is the, uh, uh, if I have a freedom, you know, uh, not being, you know, pressured from anything, you know. Uh, this one is 36 by 48 inch. A kind of big print, you know. Uh, that's my favorite size, you know. Uh, the time I was using a school OSU, only able to print like a 24 by 36. So I put the uh, two plates together to make a, you know, one big, you know, you can see the seam in the center, you know. So that kind of a challenge, you know, a printmaker has to deal with, you know, the uh, unit you make. Okay, but anyway, let's move on. I did the uh, same format, uh, works on paper, uh, painting, or the, you know, uh, mixed media, I guess, you know, collage kind of stuff. Uh, anyway, occasionally I still I do, you know. Uh, so, as I mentioned, you know, uh, I have a plan B. Once I finish, you know, uh, printmaking, I'm gonna move to watercolor and work on paper. I'm ready, you know, and then. My wife, you know, uh, it's stinky, you know, why, when you stop, you know, uh, kind of toxic, right, you know, kind of thing, so. Then, yeah. 
Again, the uh, 36 by, you know, 48, you can see the center, you know. I try to make, I know, like that seem, try to not obvious, kind of design element kicks in, you know. Uh, how I can do this, you know. Uh, so I did it, so the center, you know, not symmetric, but you know, you see the line if you pay attention, you know. Uh, okay, all right. Early 90s, you know, 92, three kind of time, you know. This one is the uh, 24 by 36, so they are, uh, you know, one prince, uh, one straight copper plate. Uh, I'm from Japan, uh, shall I introduce? I live there and still I'm Japanese, you know, I, my identity, if you say, you know. And, uh, uh, so I use a lot of, you know, the, uh, their kind of like a heritage or the, you know, like a, a cultural or whatever, you know, the, uh, you know, counter culture or kind of things. Uh, my artwork, you know. So this one is, if you pay attention, you know, if you're family, and this is the uh, derived or inspired from or the by uh, Kokeshi, you know, which Unundo uh, Mika knows. I know Kokeshi means, you know, like kind of cylinder shape, you know, and then, you know, put the head, you know, kind of like, you know, very simple shape, you know. So that's three of those figures, I just made it from the, like a Kokeshi kind of inspired image or so, you know. Okay, K-O-K-E-S-H-I, if you're curious, you know. Kokeshi, okay, very old, you know, uh, dark kind of stuff. Uh, back to the, uh, you know, big prints, but the time, you know, like uh, this one, no seam. What? When I got the tenure, you know, when I'm awarded, or, you know, they are uh, granted associate professor in definite tenure. All right, that's the time I start making, you know, I'm going, not going to move, so I build a studio, and I bought a press, which is anxious, you know, uh, bigger than what they have, OSU, so 36 by 48, you know, the, one of the biggest Takachi press, and I put the, uh, the uh, moreover, I put the motorized press, you know, so just one push, you know, not doing this. I like it, and it still works. Uh, anyway, so that's, you know, I don't have to worry about composition, seam kind of stuff, you know, the center line, okay. The problem is it's very expensive cover plate, you know, so, you know, but anyway, can't stop. Uh, I like a movement, you know, the uh, figure, you know, so this could be, you know, a little bit upside down, but, you know, bottom portion has a little water kind of aspect, blue, so that's the uh, starfish kind of things. I like a cotton, cotton-ish, you know, the uh, whimsical kind of, all the kind of, you know, the uh, figure, you know, uh, actions also, you know, okay. This one is tiny, nine by 12, you know, the, uh, when I was visiting, I guess the uh, UNT, is that right? University of Tennessee, Knoxville, one of the big school, you know, uh, visiting artists, I was, uh, kind of like, you know, ask to make an edition kind of things, you know, so I did this, I think, you know. Anyway, so that's, an, you know, that point, you know, I cannot do the big prints, you know, it's tiny prints compromising. But, you know, I knew it, you know, what I had to do, you know, when I talk in the you know, other end, so I brought a design, you know, like a drawing, and then just transfer kind of stuff, you know, can't do it, you know, over there. I'm not that flexible, you know. I wanted a little bit prepared, you know. They is limited also, you know. They don't like to me wandering like that, you know, because, you know. Okay. Uh, Nine, you know, 18 by 12, you know. Uh, as I said, you know, like embellishing a lot of things, uh, figure being, you know, they are, uh, you know, surrounded, you know, uh, anyway. I like a little bit those patterns, designs, you know, like uh, arms, you know, this uh, kind of like a dragon or something, I guess, Asian kind of like, you know, theme, you know. Uh, anyway, so that's Lily, right? This is unusual, you know, they are, uh, doesn't have you know, main subject matter figure, uh, no figures, but I still, you know, they, uh, me, you know, I couldn't, you know, they are uh, resistant, so I put like, you know, a little bit, you know, uh, implying, you know, figures, you know, boots, you can see the brown things, or the top left, you see the arms sticking out, you know, kind of things, but, you know, they are birds and then, I guess, in the flowers kind of stuff. Uh, as you see, I told many times, I, you know, they are CMYK prints, so yellow, you see it, red, okay, and then blue, but the secondary color, orange, or purple, or green, those are from those combination of the colors, you know. 
uh, I have a process, you know, later on. This is, an, again, a little bit unusual, showing the back, uh, not the front, right? Uh, the feather you see top, or the birds, it's been kind of like, you know, like, uh, uh, comes back, you know, uh, when you pay attention to the, my art, artwork, you know, kind of like, uh, you know, my favorite thing, you know, so later on you see, oh yeah, oh, here, there, you see, you know, uh, the, uh, those flying things, you know, okay. Of course, they are, I like uh, patterns, designs, you know, they are, some are like a, a tablecloth kind of stuff, some of Japanese kimono design kind of things. Also, there are the fruits intentionally, or you know, like identity of me, uh, persimmon, kind of Asian fruits, I put, you know, the, uh, okay. This one, uh, I call the other, title is important, maybe, you know, it's called TB. TB means time basis, you know, and then I, I was also there this time like a, uh, hospitalized, you know, tuberculosis, you know, TB. <laughs> they doubted, did you touch chicken or, you know, did you go overseas kind of stuff, you know. No, 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 you know, but anyway, I had pneumonia also, you know. Anyway, so uh, it says TB. Okay, so this one is also time-based, you know. Uh, so everything is you know, uh, time-based kind of a theme, you know, four seasons at the top left, and then uh, ice cream is time-based food, right? You know, it can leave it forever. Uh, melting watch kind of stuff, dollies, if you remember those art history, you know, on the bottom on the table. Uh, time pizza, not the T-I-M-E, but the, the T-H. Arb things, you know, time pizza. I don't know, we have that, but I just made up, you know, so. Uh, anyway, the top light is me, you know, uh, print maker, right? You know, uh, head print in print making in charge or something. But that's a magazine cover, time magazine cover, you know. Intentionally it cut off, you know, you don't see that, that title, you know, but uh, anyway, it's so all about time, you know. Of course, another theme, Japanese food. That's why I like it. Uh, kind of like a street vendor, kind of like a, the, uh, casual dining kind of things, okay. Uh, you can see that, you know, left one, yellow ones, and the shrimp tempura, we got udon. I'm sure, you, you know, this, this place, a lot of those Asian food, you know. Uh, the bottom is the, the kaisen don, you know, mikanos, you know, you know, kaisen don, you know, it's, kind of treat. It's a raw fish uh, over the, uh, you know, uh, donburi, you know, expensive, you know, so because a lot of fresh, you know, uh, uh, salmon, tuna, all kind of stuff there, you know. Green tea, right? Uh, anyway, so that, and then you see the uh, chopsticks, of course, you know. Uh, but intentionally, I, you know, this case, so most of the time, the outfit is more like Western kind of things, and not just the Japanese kimono. Sometimes I do, but uh, it's a little bit derived from some of you in the cosplay or a maid cafe. Maid means M-A-I-D, I think, you know. Uh, in, in Tokyo, I, anyway, you go to Japan, some places they have like a, a pretending, you know, welcome master, you know, what would you like, and then, well, anyway, they have a kind of like, you know, cute uh, outfit, you know, and then they serve the, uh, you know, burger food, you know, anyway, so that, okay. I don't know, uh, someone said, you know, why you put the haircut, you know, I couldn't answer because, <laughs> I just wanted, you know, <laughs> because I can you know, even myself, if I see this, and someone made it, I ask, you know, why you did the haircut, you know? <laughs> and then, before you guys ask, I say, well, I don't know, I just into it kind of stuff, you know, anyway. Uh, Bob wire, you know, some ask, you know, uh, why you put the Bob wire, you know? I look at those of like a tattoo design, you know, and then when you do the tattoo design, kind of like, I, like, I see a lot of Bob wire, you know, and that's why I kind of, 
interesting for me, you know, that could be, you know, my style idea, so that I introduced. Uh, this one, anything you can eat, kind of idea, so the, uh, you know, drumstick, radish, you know, mushroom, you know, green, red, yellow, maybe pills, you know, the bottom portion is spreading, you know, you can eat it, right, intake and kind of stuff, you know, anything you can eat. I made a pair, you know, like a left and right, you know, so this is one of those prints and then uh, diptych ideas, you know. So that's the other side, you know, like a goes side by side maybe, but not necessary. Same size. It's traced the same shape and they just flipped it. You know, they are, you know, digitally you can do it, but I did manually, you know, because of the copper plate. Okay, and a little bit, you know, like element changed. Uh, but a lot of decorative aspect, uh, meatball, bacon, I think, right? Uh, but the plants are also meat eater. I don't know what you call the. Uh, I'm sure you guys know. You know the. Uh, you know, some people love those kind of stuff, right? You know, put the, uh, the uh, insect there and the, you know, Audrey. Do you know Audrey? Little shop of horror. Yeah. You know, they bite you, right? You kind of ideas, you know. Anyway, uh, so that's my theme or, you know, background of this image. Okay. All right, so this one is a little bit more experimental, okay? So what did I did, well, what's happening here is the, uh, I print on a very thin Japanese marble kozo paper, like a tracing paper, or they are, the, you know, they are uh, newsprint, but not newsprint, of course, you know, they are quality paper, uh, kaibar. Uh, so when you print one side, Okay, you see the other side available, right? So I printed those two prints, both sides, and then I'm showing that, you know? Okay, so that's how I like a double image, whatever I know, that some images are coming from the back, or so, you know, so that's why a little bit complicated, some blur, you know, like, uh, what's going on there, you know? So, so that's the one side, I don't know which is front or back, but the other. So that's the other side kind of stuff, you know? First one is a little easier, maybe better. We can put a plexiglass, you know, sandwich and a display on the middle of the gallery or something, you know. Fun, you know, that kind of stuff. All right, another barbed wire, right? Uh, parsimon on the chest, and then uh, daikon radish, Japanese or Asian radish, you know, I don't know. Okay, uh, mushrooms. My family, I have a f four of those, including myself, you know, wife and two kids. They hate mushroom, you know, but I love mushroom, you know, so, you know. I never have a chance to eat as a family, you know, I just eat my own, you know, but anyway. They're missing a lot of good stuff, you know. Kind of slimy, you know, I like any mushroom, you know, but Japanese, they have a lot of unique ones, you know, uh, anyway. Uh, anyway, so that's the idea. I like to do that little curtain kind of, you know, like a theater setting. So you see that also, you know, the uh, ideas, you know. 95 or so, you know, uh, 95, six. Okay, all right. This one is a little unusual. You see the uh, no heads in the figure, just the other plant. Uh, plant is my favorite, so that's also no surprise, okay. But you see the cutting, you know, backdrop kind of stuff, okay. Bright color, uh, sometimes, you know, they are, you know, beyond my control, but control, I control, maybe we can say. They are, when I change the thing, it changes the outcome. Means, you know, this case, I changed the ink. <laughs> so this print looks brighter, you know, because that's a brighter ink, and I just wanted to use. So that's the reason, and I like it, kind of things, you know. So the, uh, the other ink I was, or I've been using, you know, the uh, mixture, or in some time, you know, like one of those, you know, the uh, uh, water-based ink, you know, aqua ink, or the carigo ink. Uh, but sometimes use other ink and just see the new product or so, you know. Anyway, uh, again, 95, 6, 7, you know, uh, so five years, seven, eight years ago, I'm not sure, but 
uh, things I say, you know, they are before the dinosaur, that's the title, of, you know. Before dinosaur means, a long, long time ago, before they, those monsters emerged, planet Earth. So those things are thriving, I guess, you know, coral, some kind of plant, which you don't see, but interestingly, you know, they are, I always mention, you understand that, ginkgo tree is still there, and then we have here. So that has a long life, billions of years they live, you know. Our life is like that, human beings, but that tree is like that, you know. Okay, All right. Anyway, so that's, okay. Okay. A uh, little bit, you know, mixture uh, of, you know, more like Western ideas, you know, like Velazquez, they are the court painter in the Spanish, I guess the 16th century or something, the bottom portion. Okay, uh, La Nita or something, the baby or something, the uh, Nikita, I forgot, you know. Uh, the top is a snow white, you know, the upper body. Okay, so I just put together, but there's a plant on the big skirt is the Asian peony. I assume those are Asian, you know, the, uh, you know, symbol. But we have here, of course, you know, right? So just a mixture. The, the white plant, you know, top right is a hybrid. It never exists. I just made up. So my own fruit, you know, so I don't know the name. I can name it, but it's not the pear, not the apple. Can you name it? I don't know. It's just good luck in finding it. You never be able to find it on the uh, uh, online or such as things. Okay. So just make you know fun things. You know, we can do anything we want, kind of stuff. Okay. It's not much different, but a little different. Okay, so I'm making a little variations. You know, adding a collage kind of stuff, uh, particularly these prints. You know, so that's. Like that, okay. One of a kind I made, you know. So like this, the, uh, this one is 98 or something, you know, three, four years ago. Uh, color portion, you know, the, uh, the uh, subject matter figure is same, but the, uh, I changed the background, you know, okay. Anyway, you start seeing the wings, right? You know, they are, so that's how I started kind of things. But it, I've been doing like 10 years, you know, more, more than that, you know. Something like a, a fly, you know, uh, up in the air kind of stuff, you know. Egyptian, uh, I forgot the name of the uh, uh, angel. Can you help me? Uh, the right one, you know. Uh, okay. Drawing, okay. just for one. It says Kokoro Utsuri, the pink portion. Mika-san, could you translate to English? <laughs> Changing heart or something, I don't know. Okay. Kokoro means heart, Utsuri means move or change, you know? Okay. Anyway, like that. Okay. Uh, lots of wings, birds, okay. Uh, chicken wings on the bottom, kind of things, you know. This one is the uh, Ari, Ari, you know, six, seven years, seven, eight years ago, you know. Uh, I made up the, uh, the dish or the sweet is a watermelon shortcake. No one, who wants to eat it, you know? I just made up. <laughs> the dish has a little penguin design. Right? You know, pay attention to detail. You see the, some kind of like a surprise. Oh, yeah, here, there, you know, kind of things, you know? Tattoo is the uh, feather, right? You know, the figure. Again, uh, insect wing, wings, right? And the wings and the skirts design. The uh, fan has a crane, kind of, kind of symbolic, you know, in Japan. But it's not uh, the Japanese uh, bars, you know. They are, uh, it's I checked it, you know. What is the uh, like? Do you know the U.S.? What is the uh, your bars? Eagle, I think, you know. We have one. But it's not a crane, you know. Everyone says, you know, nice cranes in Japanese, but it's not. I forgot. But something like that kind of big bird, you know, the ass. 
Again, the bars, wings, right? Okay. Anyway, these are 36 by 24 printed, you know, wash paper. Okay. Wings, 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 you know? Okay. So let's hurry up because they are, I'm just walking slow. So anyway, so those, you see it? Yeah, little wings, right? Yeah, okay. Decent wings, right? Okay. This is a very Japanese, right? Kimono, you can't miss it, right? Uh, the hair with the uh, decoration we call kanzashi, they are coming down kind of hair things, you know? Uh, traditional kind of hair, uh, what do you call, uh, accessories, you know? As a crown or the, uh, the tiara on the top. Other side of the wings, you know, little girl, okay. This one is called a briko. Briko means kind of like a, you know, pretender, you know, trying to be cute, you know. Uh, anyway, the idea is, you know, like you see the very bottom, the uh, cell phone cameras shooting the, uh, you know, object or subject, whatever, you know. But the uh, idea is, you know, like this person who holds the other cell phone camera is not taking picture of these two girls, taking a palm tree or something, you know. But the girls are kind of, oh yeah, they're taking picture of us, trying to be cute. Lots of narrative. My artwork is, has a story, you know. I don't explain. When I do this, I explain my personal experience, you know. But, you know, on the uh, display, I don't have that statement, you know. Just enjoy kind of stuff, you know. They, uh, it's tough, you know. They, uh, sometimes, you know, those, they don't highly regard printmaking. Now I can run, you know, but the other, you know, there's hierarchies. You know, you may know, you know, like uh, whatever they, uh, uh, you make art, they have a kind of rank, you know. Kind of, you know, say painting being, you know, 2D, you know, most appreciated, drawing, print, you know, you do print, okay, kind of stuff, you know. I tell the student, you know, there's a lot of maybe bad painting of the artist, but, you know, same artist, they make a good prints, but unfortunately, that painting goes much more appreciated, you know. You know? Same things, you're doing narrative art, it's not the art, you know. Well. I'm doing, I don't care, you know, and I do this, you know, stories, make people fun kind of stuff, you know. This is not a fine, fine art, you know, all right, okay, you know. But anyway, I like this uh, story, but, you know, food is also my interest, you know. And then this one is a udon, noodle, and then edamame, and green tea, and then Left is takoyaki. I don't know. This is a takoyaki. Some, you know, former student made me, you know, like a 10 years ago, some still I'm wearing. But anyway, those street food, junk food, you know, so good, you know. Uh, it's not good, healthy, you know, sometimes. Put a lot of mayo, you know, sweet, you know, like barbecue sauce, you know, soaked with those, you know. So, you know, if you eat too much, you get sick, but, you know, anyway. Drawing of that, how I make. I start from that. I fix the line, contour drawing completely, go. If you know printmaking, you know, it's not like a drawing. If you're drawing the charcoal, you know, you start drawing as you go, and if you don't like it, erase it, you know, keep walking, finish. Printmaking, once you have a line on the copper plate, it's not easy to change, you know? So I, I walk a lot, lot on the contour lines. I don't care that shade or the texture or the color, but I fix the contour line, you know, uh, good, good to go kind of stuff, you know. Same ideas, drawing versus the other uh, prints, right? A lot of patterns, all the patterns are left open, or well, some are, you know, like uh, the frame in the window, the drawing has something, but. Smaller print, 18 by 12 inch or so, you know. I make a, some background different versions, that's why I'm showing this. Like that. This one, same. Uh, crane and then, or a jump rope guard is 
unit or they are the, uh, what do you call the uh, you know fixed, but the background is I just play with the uh, other kind of like, you know uh, image. The girl has a, like a butterfly wing or so you know. Okay, but anyway, you can see the flying kind of ideas you know. Okay, this one just a straight uh, still life or so you can see. Uh, again, you know, like some roses, rose or the uh, parsimon is kind of like a, you know, there, but you know, I made up some plants, some strawberry, like it, strawberry, maybe, but it's not quite kind of stuff, you know. Anyway, kind of unique plant or the fruit I made. Okay. Design a lot, you know, a uh, little Asian outfit, you know, the, uh, this figure. Uh, okay, these are recent, you know, like a last year's printer, so, okay. The point is, background is, you see the rose and the persimmon. The left side of the print, I used it, kind of ideas, you know, okay. So that has a right side, you know, the, uh, the, that, you know, still life print, uh, the prints, okay. Here we go. This is also if you are doing printmaking, you know, uh, how I do this kind of stuff, you know. So you see the Japanese paper print. After I finish this, I mount on the uh, rug paper kind of things, you know. Anyway, so that's the starting. So I make a, you know, key first, black first, then coloring book kind of ideas. Where goes, you know, peach, where goes orange, where goes red kind of ideas, you know. So I need to make a black you know, uh, uh, shape, or, you know. But when I do the workshop or the, uh, you know, uh, you know, class, some already know the printmaking, you know, I've done the color printing, you know, some are you not know, just beginners. And then they run this, can I start yellow? I like to do the, you know, color first, be my guest, you know. So they do their own, and then I don't want to limit them. No, you can start from there, you know, uh, has to be a block, no, no. I just want to see how that works, you know, kind of stuff. But for me, you know, I'm comfortable studying with black. All right, he has another strange things. So this is a yellow plate. But yellow, in order to make a yellow plate, I, grinding down, alter the, uh, or a deductive, additive kind of concept, black copper plate. So uh, they work on the surface on that black copper plate to make a yellow plate. Okay. Can you do it? Yes, you can do. You know, I, that was my workshop. I just do the sanding paper, machines, you know, scraper, burnish also, hands, and then, uh, you know, make a yellow plate from the black. So the idea is you have to finish the editions. You know, if you want to print later, I don't think you can because, uh, you know, you want to destroy the, you know, like a color previously you worked. So if I do the uh, 20 editions, Okay, I make a, like a 30, you know, you want to make a good 20, sometimes even though I may be ending at 15 or something, you know. but anyway, so that yellow plate, so that black and the yellow combine, okay, the yellow doesn't have any depth, you know, they are dark yellow to light yellow, it's like that much shade, you know, it's a gray scale, or like that, you know. Okay, so I don't do the uh, different aqua tint. I make a shade with not a line etching. All the color is aqua tint, or the texture transfer kind of things, you know. So you can say very light to medium to dark yellow, only three shades or so, you know, that's enough, you know, okay. All right, finish. I make a yellow to red. So I have a yellow plate. I just grind it down, reworking, burnish, scraping. Okay, and the re-etching, so all the aqua tint you see it, you know, okay. So red plate has a more like a shade, you know, like this one doesn't match, you know, but they are there, you know, what you call magenta, you know, process color. You etch very shallow, long, deep, you can make a, like a pink to burgundy kind of ideas, you know. So that has a lot of options about color, you know, okay. But I make like three shades or something, three or four shades, you know, okay, most of the time. Okay, so that's red. So that has a yellow, red, and black, okay. Start seeing the orangey color, even like a brownish color, you know, if you have a, you know, gray shade, you know, something, you know. 
Okay. So make sure when you do this, you know, you have to plan ahead. You know, if you want to do the orange, if you want to do the green, you have to etch the yellow part, you know, they are, you know, uh, available for that blue later on. They make a green kind of stuff, you know. So you got to plan ahead, you know. For the beginner class, you know, I just say, you know, get the watercolor or the Sharpie marker, whatever, you know, they are, just start coloring, you know, so that you don't miss it kind of stuff. For me, I don't need it. I, after I finish this, I just think where the blue goes kind of ideas, you know, and they make a decision, you know. So here's the blue plate. A lot of four byte. Do you know four byte? You know, accidental kind of texture start showing, you know, the uh, acid it through the face, right? You know, face a little texture, you know. Some people can't stand it, you know. Can I scrape it? Can I rework? Can I restart it? That's their choice. But uh, for me, I don't care. You know, that's part of my artwork. I don't want to waste. You know, that my part of statement kind of stuff, you know. So it's a lot of scratches, the bruises, you know, skin portions of the leg or, you know, the uh, arm, you know. Uh, sometimes not comfortable. Sometimes I really won't, can't stand it. I just wipe off with the Q-tips or something. Scraping is impossible. So each time I just use a rug or, you know, they uh, just wipe off the stained portions, you know. Anyway, but most of the time, I don't bother. You know, I just keep printing kind of things. All right. Done. So before, before mounting, uh, this is, but basically the same, you know, they are uh, mounted ideas, you know, but finish the four color printing. You see the purple or the uh, green? Green has a yellow green and a dark green or light green, you know, like the, uh, by changing a lighter blue or darker blue and more yellow or less yellow kind of things in the cactus in the bottom right. Uh, orangey color or the pink or the uh, red. Anyway, some browns in the chair maybe. Anyway, so those are all done by four color, you know. Uh, color registration kind of things, you know, they are the, uh, you know, has a margin. Why I print on this paper? Okay, there's another reason. Because those papers are translucent. When wet, I can see through, I can drop the plate, line up, registration makes quick. Okay, not making a special system of reg registration, kind of like a you know, marking system, kind of stuff. Just eyeball it, you know, because it kind of trans tra tracing paper, like, you know. You got to do quick, though. If you're pondering, you know, start playing the cell phone, someone calling, the paper starts drying, and you don't see any, you know, opaque color start, you know, paper turns. So the fire paper is kind of nice moisture, you know, transparent, just drop it. You print it, you know. So that's why I print on those Japanese paper. All right, a uh, little bit Asian hook sides wave in the bottom, right, on the Western figure. Uh, this one is my own, but I just wanted to show the, you know, how this came from. So that's the uh, ukiyo-e prints, you know. Of course, I didn't copy, just the inspired, you know, so that. That, okay. This one is the, uh, it says S-U-E-Y, okay. Looks like in the restaurant, but you know, not, maybe not in the restaurant. But this one is inspired by, inspired by, this is a western. Edward Harper, Chop Suey is the title, I guess. RE 900, 1900 or something. And, oh, I like that. But anyway, I don't copy, of course, exactly, right? So that's the ideas. This one is my prints. It's a one unit is the other small one of those, you know, uh, quarter kind of stuff, you know? Anyway, right? So this one, when I saw this painting, Mane, I think, you know, right? Okay, I want to do something with this painting. Then I made this, you know. More idea of contemporary orange juice. Uh, I guess the TV control on the bed or something. You see that, you know, remote control kind of things, right? This one is my print, right? 
you see that pipe, so you can see, you know, like, oh, I guess, you know, this is maybe inspired. I know the guy. Yes. It's Magrid, you know. Okay. So this one is like, a, you know, four sections. Other way, you know, like, a, uh, uh, the prints I did, you know, Mane, right? Okay. But anyway, so I made a one from the one, you know, grid, you know, my grid, yeah, I guess, you know. <laughs> right. I make a, some kind of like a random kind of collage, so they are the, uh, catfish, is that right? Namazu catfish? So I make a one catfish, and I just print it, you know, five times on the paper, and I cut, and I paste it to the one big sheet of paper kind of stuff, you know. This one too, you know, they are, uh, this one a little bit gives a little bit zen kind of ideas, you know, I didn't, I'm not practicing anything but, you know, kind of emptiness. But this one also I use for the other project. So you can see the face, you know, I extended, you know, like at the bottom portion. Okay, one of them kind. Two prints put together, made one kind of things, big tulip head. From that print, I made another version, you know, the uh, Chinese zodiac kind of stuff. I made a four, so that variation kind of stuff. This one is the uh, painting with a gold acrylic or something, you know, mix, mixed media kind of stuff. This one is one of a kind, but originated this one, you know, uh, this one is edition prints. This one is edition prints, okay, so. It rhymes, you know, the uh, uh, left is Rie in kanji, girl's name, and then right is a Mie, Rie and Mie, the girl's name, you know. Okay. So you see that center, you know, I use those, one of those prints, you know. Again, a lot, six or uh, eight, nine, I guess, uh, including top one, okay. So these are big, you know, they are almost half of this screen size or so, you know. I do the workshop, Japanese woodblock water base. So that's my artwork, hand printing, kind of stuff. Okay, drawing, kind of frying again, the wings. Okay, food, mushroom, right? Barbed wire. This one is uh, two plates put together, printed on one big sheet of paper, you know. It's not the uh, rug paper I print straight, you know. You can see the seam, you know, okay. And I just added my color pencil, or kind of charcoal or something, you know, okay. Pastel kind of stuff, making one. So that's starting of uh, three, four, five, I don't know how many plates, you know, this involved, but it's a big, big project. So like that, right. Fan, I make those just for fun, right? Book arts, I do how I teach. Okay, accordion style, Coptic style, all kind of stuff, you know, hardcover, like that. Make a little kind of folding, kind of like a, a make a book, but when you open it, you can make a big print, kind of like a unit, okay, front and back. Cover plate, after they finish the, uh, the printing down, I have a plate, some people enjoyed my plate, so I made a, like a coffee table, kind of like square box, you know. There are no functions, but uh, just, uh, I mean, this dice kind of things, you know. And the frame, okay. Not fun, recycling, you know. Okay. Uh, this past February, I was invited, well, you know, I applied also, you know, they are the uh, artist residency kind of things, the Tamarind, uh, New Mexico, uh, Mika knows, of course, you know. Uh, so those are the prints, kind of like a proofing, you know, they are lithography, stone. So I draw it, someone printed, well, someone, I shouldn't say, you know, apprentice. Uh, the printer printed, and we're just talking about, you know, which one should I go? Kind of very subtle, hard to change, uh, tell, but, you know, it has a little bit different ink or paper sometimes, you know. Uh, 
me, Miro, both sides, the printer, apprentice, and then director, and then uh, supervisor, kind of, you know, important people for this business running. Okay, so that's, okay. I had a lot of time to kill. Two weeks I was there. And then, because I'm not printing, you know, they are printing, you know. Sometimes I was called, and usually, you need to come and take a look at, I need approval kind of stuff, which paper, which ink. So I had to spend a lot of time. I had a chance to visit UNM. I had a bunch of friends there. So reunite and how are you kind of stuff, you know. But also, you know, like, uh, uh, other than that, I have nothing to do, so. Brian, no, the Br Brandon, yeah. Oh, you can do anything you want. Here's a watercolor, here's a color pencil. Okay, I want to do watercolor, so I did the watercolor. You know, in my apartment upstairs at the print studio. Right. Okay. Anyway, so I can do anything. So, you know, I'm not worried about if I finish print making, I switch to other things. Well, I can do, you know, maybe you don't like me. You know, like, oh, you should do a print. You know, watercolor is not so good. But maybe time to change something, you know. Most recent, this is the last. Uh, 2021, I think, you know, they, I do have a 2022. It's not on the slides, but they are the uh, 36 by 24, you know. Lots of, I like, to, again, uh, embellish the figure with a lot of element furniture, uh, you know, uh, outfit. You know, this one again, the flying, so they are the drawn, or the, you know, turkey vulture head. Body is different, and then some, you know, wings, you know, uh, on the ground kind of things, you know. Anyway, so that's I did, or the, still I'm doing uh, color printing, you know. And anyway, it's a good time, you know, they are uh, going back to you. Now, anything that I, I could answer, any questions, anything? Yeah, yes. How long does it take to reach one of those places? Okay, they are, that's also printmakers kind of always, you know, they are, you know, topic goes back and forth. My wife, it's complaining, you know, because the, uh, you are not flexible, you know. I cannot be flexible, otherwise my print project is ruined, you know. Means, you know, like uh, the, uh, I soak the paper and I need to print tomorrow, following day, you know, because I soaked, you know, edition, you know, like 30 paper being soaked, you know, and at that time, you know, it changes, you know, the other chemicals and start morning, all kind of stuff, you know. So, you know, can we do it tomorrow? Like, I said, no, I cannot do that. So she's not happy, you know. But, you know, the, once you start doing the printmaking, you have ideas, you know, you cannot do such, a, you know, easy. Sometimes if I'm not printing, I can't do anything I want. But, you know, if I start doing those productions, you know, I have like a week ahead, you know. I have a plan Friday, tomorrow after I go home, I have to soak paper, or, you know, I have to start making ink kind of stuff in order to print Saturday kind of stuff, you know. Anyway, so takes, let's say, you know, there are, uh, Ending up, you know, like when I count, like you know, like one year, I simply I am I answer in twelve prints, you know, okay. So you make a consistent, you know, like a one month one print. No, you know, I travel sometime. You know, if I have a lot of time, I make more than you know one in a month. You know, if it's busy, I was teaching last, you know, like a uh, thirty years. So the uh, I had a you know lot of productive, you know. Uh, aspect when I was in the off, you know, summer I did a lot, and then uh, you know, spring break or winter break, you know, I can focus on. But you know, during the teaching time, you know, like I have a, every other day, sometime, you know, like a, uh, I have a time. But anyway, weekend. Uh, also, I make a, you know, they are not one at a time. Often you see like a pair, you know, idea, you know, is there because they are, uh, I'm etching that this plate, you know. And then I have a time to kill, so I have another plate, right? Walk, pick up from the acid, put that other plate in the acid, kind of stuff, you know? So most of the time, I have a, like a two or a three plates happening, you know? So when I finish, so month of January, I didn't make any prints, but was walking. But the month of February, I made a four prints, kind of ideas, you know? So. It's not like, you know, like a every day, you know, consistent kind of like progress, you know. So when I finish, I have a lot kind of ideas. But let's say 12 months, if you divide 
you know, one month, one point kind of ideas, you know. Mm -hmm. Yes? How can the senders think about how Right. Yes, they are, uh, my style, okay, so they are, I have to see, you know, by talking this, you know, so anyway, they are, one, I have a, most of like, an you know, prince has a fingertips being red, you know, and then recently, you know, last 10 years, I started doing the cheek being red, you know, okay, but most of prince doesn't have a eyes open, or the no eyes kind of stuff, you know, so that's, since I was, 20, you know, so 40 some years I've been doing kind of occasionally you see, you know, but anyway, they are just, you know, eyes are too strong for me, you know, like too scary, kind of, I, kind of, I'm not shy, but shy, you know, so just leave it ambiguous, you know, they are just leave to the uh, viewers kind of like, you know, interpretation, you know, like a big eyes, small eyes, crying, laughing, looking at you, or looking at something, kind of like, you know, just leave it kind of stuff, you know. Enjoy you guys kind of ideas, but the fingertips red. It's like you know the things you touch, you know, is the fingertips. So that most kind of sensitive, you know, important. We don't do like that, you know. Since you know when you do this, you grab that kind of. So that's sometimes also compositions. You know, if you have a hand like this, you know, all same peach color, whatever. You know, just lines, kind of boring. So give it a little bit, you know, excitement. Being red here, you know, has a little bit of dimension, dimension or something, you know. So that's my kind of answer, yes, you know. I forgot, someone was asking something. Yes? Oh, um, yeah, I was curious about why the female figure is uh, such an important idea. Mm-hmm, they are, uh, I like male figure, you know, figure, but you know, they are, I like the uh, uh, decorative aspect of the uh, thing, you know, means, you know, not just the, uh, Figure, figure, but you know, everything top to bottom, my image, you know. Sometimes, you know, like, a, you know, overdue, I, sh I should stop. But once I got that, you know, I'm going to add this, I'm going to add this. Anyway, they are, so they are, usually, you know, they are female figure. I can kind of add a lot of like hats or, you know, shoes, you know, design, you know, like an outfit kind of things, you know, so kind of ending up, you know, and I enjoy those kind of like a design aspect, you know, you see that, you know, uh, patterns. So that's kind of, you know, like a reason. You can see the shoes, you know. Uh, so that's kind of like, you know, I like, you know, like uh, adding those, you know, fi female figure fits kind of, kind of like naturally. So that's, you know. Mm-hmm. And yet you showed us a couple of your drawings mm -hmm. of watercolor. Um, like my experience when I did painting and pit making in undergrad and grad school, it sort of helped me because my painting was so I was very intuitive painter. Yeah. And it was a great sense of speed and then pit making was like tedious. <laughs> yeah. So as the time comes to me, yeah. Process, Yeah. So it actually made me a better. Glad to hear. Uh huh. Do you, do, you, do you do any other discipline with the rigor as you do with the pit making? Uh, and what's the relationship? Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, anyway, the number one, the edition is most like small, but enough to distribute to the you know like a uh, gallery, ideal is kind of things you know. But you know, limited edition is good. Because I say, I don't have it, you know, sorry, you know. And then if you have a, like a block, you know, the uh, edition 50, and he has a yellow block, blue block, red block, whatever, you know, and as demand occurs, you know, print kind of pain, you know. I just finish it, move on. So the other print is very, uh, probably like other big ones means, you know, they are big one in the size 15, and then, Small size of the prints, big edition, probably 20 to 30 kind of stuff, you know. Financially also hard, you know, if we have a big plate, you know, paper is expensive, you know, kind of things, you know. So, you know, it's not easy to make a big edition, you know, and it takes a long time, you know. Like a, printing is 
challenge, I enjoy certain level, but certain level it's pain. You know, oh, I got a point 20 today. <sighs> you know. But anyway, so can you use us? You know, apprentice? No, I like to do it by myself, you know, because you know, if, if I use someone, if, I, if this person make mistake, I can't stand it, you know. When I make mistake, it's all right, you know, right? Okay. Uh, you know, I said two extreme hierarchy kind of stuff, but it is probably, you know, they are, because they are, you know, history tells you the long, long time ago, the prince came from, you know, I'm talking like a West, you know. It's a reproduction of the painting, you know. All the art dealer, like a 1600, 1700, you know, those dealer, they did have a dealer, you know, carry the, you know, mezzotint prints of the painting to the patron, you know. And here's a, you know, Goya, or Goya did the prints, but, you know, kind of stuff, you know. So kind of like a background that has kind of like a, it's, not original, you know, kind of ideas, you know. But nowadays, we need to explain, you know, because when I do this, some people, very honest, you know, so where's your original? You know, and I explain, no, no, this is original, you know, I have to say, you know, because people think this is a painting of original kind of stuff, you know. So that's the point, you know, the point is not regarded highly sometimes, you know. But education also tricks you like a, let's say, Thomas Kincaid. Do you know him? You know, light of something, you know. He has an edition 500, you know, has a signature, one, five, two, five, three, five. Gary said this is a, his sign, his artwork. It's a point. It's fake. That don't buy it, you know, because that's the, commercially printed Z clay kind of thing because he has original of that, you know. But the gallery tells you, you know, because that his paintings were established in sense, you know, 500 for that size and his edition number title with a pencil, you know, don't mix it, you know. You know I'm not saying the only other his content, but the, the other product itself is you know, commercially machine printed, you know. Okay, so that's, we call the uh, original print, you know, I don't know, you know, there's a kind of like a term, you know, uh, less than 100 kind of stuff. Some people say, no, less than 50, less than 200 kind of things, you know, but has a limit in the editions, and then plate is being destroyed after the edition is completed. You know, you have, a, have to have it, you know, like a Rauschenberg, or, you know, they, are, they have a canceled plate or canceled stones for the print studio, they keep it. Anyway, yeah, I don't know, you know, I'm not rambling again, or like not answering straight to her about the other. Printmaking, I was just talking in the beginning of this class, and I, I have been, you know, I've taught like many, many years, and then it's okay, you know, like uh, some people, you know, uh, for class 200, they are required for BFA, you know, foundation printmaking, they have to try screen printing, woodblock, even monotype, you know, kind of stuff. But at the end, you know, those 20 students, you know. 10 students, yeah, it's okay. I enjoyed it, but I won't be doing, but it's all right, kind of stuff. And then five people, I think, you know, they don't like it, they hate it. I really don't enjoy, you know. It's not flexible, time-consuming, stinky, you know, all kind of aspect, you know. I don't like it. But five people love it. I really like Point Maggie, you know. I want to take a 300, 400, you know, kind of things, you know. But it's a kind of like a, you know, you know, demography, you know, when you hear, when you do that, I guess that's natural, you know. And I, I myself, you know, I, don't, I didn't enjoy like 3D things, and I tried to do sculpture. I did my best, but I never enjoyed it. I was not into it. And it's okay, you know, some people like sculpture, right? So that kind of idea. So anyway, printmaking, I'm not doing, you know, they are, you know, because I love it, you know, so, you know, it's not the, you know, struggling, you know, like frustrating, but, you know, like, a, if you have an option, still I do printmaking, because printmaking can do only printmaking, you know. It's not same as drawing or watercolor, or, you know. Not just being edition ideas, you know, but plate has a nuances, copper plate, ink, combinations, right, printed in the press. That's only you can get from printmaking. Woodcut. Right, you can't do it from the drawing, you know, charcoal drawing and charcoal drawing. You can see the texture of the carving things, 
you can get wood block, right? So that's kind of ideas, and not just wood block. We can reproduce. We can reproduce means we can do additions. But uh, for me, that's secondary aspect. You know, ideas because of etching only you can do this kind of ideas effect quality. I do etching kind of stuff. You know. Anyway, so that's I don't know. I answer no. Yes. Ah, uh, you know, I'm not a designer, and then I like to walk if I have a chance, you know, some people say, you know, oh, yeah, this could be a nice total back, or, you know, like, oh, you know, we could do it, a wine label, you know, uh, in t-shirts, all kind of stuff, and I love to do it, but, or well, you can make a, you know, children's book, you know. I hear a lot, but uh, no one offered, you know, so <laughs> I love to do it, you know commercially or whatever, and let's spread more, and uh, anyway. Uh, I do the commission, you know, uh, so they regard me as an you know, artist, so I'm not commission means, you know, like, they, uh, let's say graphic designer or designer kind of stuff, you know, they respect what I do, that's why they commission, you know. Could you make a, you know, like a principal, you know, uh, this celebrating this, I hear the ideas, okay, I make some, and I just give the 50 prints. You know, and they distribute kind of stuff. Okay, so you know they don't sense. I know, no, you cannot do this because I, you know, they tell you know, could you put that? Could you put that? That's only they asking. And I'm, oh yeah, I can introduce in the cup on that shape or you know, like a mark or kind of stuff. You know, no big deal. You know, so that kind of commission I work with someone, but I don't. I like to you know uh, work for the pillow. I know like you know aprons. You know, you know, but. If I have an opportunity, I like to try. Yes, you know. Anything? It's five ten, so. Maybe one last one for me. Yeah. Um, for your patterns and clothing and shoes and plans, do they still delightful? I wondering where you get your inspiration from? Do you like look at the <laughs> <things? laughs> Nowadays, you know, they are Back then, means 20 some years ago, I had like a Dober books, D O B E R, you know, like, a, you know, those Sears catalog kind of stuff, you know. Some are from Japan, you know, some, you know, patterns. But nowadays, you know, they are, this guy does everything, you know. <laughs> Just <laughs> type the thing and, uh, you know, image. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's maybe, you know, screenshot, keep it, and then uh, flip it. I changed a little bit, destroy kind of stuff. <laughs> so that's the inspiration, you know. You know, this has a, you know, Japanese convert, so, you know, if I do any typical things, you know, you can get in the English, you know, other, you know, Japanese things, I just type in, in Japanese, it shows up. And then make sure, you know, you know, copyright issues are kind of, as you know, you know, so watch out. So, you know, I change, or, you know, like uh, uh, all kind of stuff, you know, but the uh, reference is there. So that's how I get inspired now, you know. Okay. Used to be like, you know, a Vogue magazine, interviews, like I said, back then, you know, I scrap it, cut it, and then just put, you know, like in a, some, in a box or something, and put the things, but no necessary now, you know. Better or worse, you know, so that's how I get inspired, you know. Uh, of course, you know, I, I haven't been because of, you know, like a pandemic, but they are talking to me, they are. I was there in Japan, like uh, uh, right before the COVID. You know, I was two weeks there. You know, the uh, fall of eighteen or nineteen. You know, like uh, just before the COVID started. So uh, hopefully next year or so. You know, I like to go and get inspired. Lots of fun stuff. You know, go to the those, you know Dara store. You know, uh, Daiso. Do you know Daiso? <laughs> anyway. Kind of like a you know cheap place you know but has a fun stuff you know anyway uh, hacking we call you know get to something and then borrow back and then you know start using those kind of ideas yeah mm -hmm. anything it could be the last I guess you know five ten so yeah well, thank you so much I think I supposed to see some of you tomorrow you know anyway uh, I do my best to give my feed oh by the way lastly. You know, you should be proud of yourself because the, uh, my kids are duck. You know, BFA, fifth year, uh, finished at the Portland. Uh, 
the a little bit she had to compromise, you know, there because she graduated product design and there's no 3D design market there. So she was doing internship and graphic design kind of stuff, you know. But anyway, so she used her professions now, uh, make a living happily, you know, working in a big company. Uh, so it's not a BFA, but I'm doing the uh, delivery things. That's, you know, other things, you know, that's okay, of course, you know. But uh, she, she is using uh, her BFA degree for uh, professions, you know, so doing good. So anyway, so you get something, you know, if you stick to the, uh, your program, you know. My son is OSU, so Bieber and then, uh, you know, uh, Duck, you know. Either way it works, you know. Uh, got the engineering kind of aspect, you know, because that's the kind of their forte, so, you know. Got a good job working in California. He didn't like the art, sadly. You know, my daughter liked art, so you know. Anyway, both I love them. You know. Anyway, thank you. Uh -huh. thank you. Okay. All right. So.